we talked about it a little bit earlier. I think ego is is good uh, when you are looking for, um, for example, advancement. When you're trying to get from, promoted from one level to the next, you're going to mm-hmm. have to have a certain level of ego mm-hmm. to get there. And and in those instances, ego serves you well. How can it destroy a team? Um, ego will not let you accept blame for something that your team yep. does. That's right. Right. Uh, ego will not uh, allow you to give credit to your team when everything goes right. Mm-hmm. Ego will not um, be inclusive. Mm-hmm. Ego will tell you that you're the boss. Right. You've got all the ideas and all the answers. And if these guys wanted to contribute to the solution of problems, then they should have competed to get promoted themselves. That's what ego would tell you. Mm-hmm. And so as a direct report, when I get hit with that over and over again, I either leave or I leave, but actually stay, which means I check out. Yeah. And I, I stop stay, I stop, I stop being a productive member of the team mm-hmm. because I'd rather punish you by doing nothing. Right. Right. Um, and, and I, you know, I, I, I was browbeaten to such an extent the latter part of my career where I stopped, I, I left, but didn't leave mm-hmm. where I stopped putting forth ideas. I stopped being proactive in my contribution. And I just said, you know what? Just you guys just tell me what you want me to do. You want mm-hmm. to go stand with my nose in that corner. That's <laughs> what I'll do. You know, do you think a leader can learn and then reverse that to their subordinate? What do you mean? Like if <clears throat> say like that you did that, right? You kind of checked out or you're, let, let's say we have an employee that just sort of checked out and you're yeah. like, God, what happened to them? They were, you know, so good at, you know, giving ideas, even though I didn't take them, but they were so passionate and then kind of shut them down too much. And then they sort of checked out. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, you, you read your book yeah. and then they're like, damn, I need to change my ways. Yeah. And then they come back. Can you reignite that fire yeah, in the belly? Because it's, uh, it's, it's all about increasing your emotional intelligence. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to have a certain level of emotional intelligence to care about anybody but yourself. Mm-hmm. And um, you can continue to develop your emotional intelligence into your 80s. Mm-hmm. You know, your IQ, you are who you are by the time you reach age 14. It ain't getting any better. Right. But your EQ, you can continue to develop that. And and again, this goes back to what we talked about earlier, which is always stay hungry. Always look for more knowledge. Always try to make yourself better. Always try to increase your EQ. So certainly, um, you can turn it around. Mm-hmm. You can turn it around. Now, that same scenario that you set up, if after hearing this podcast, because somebody that's listening right now recognizes themselves in that scenario mm-hmm. as the boss, mm-hmm. and you go back and you apologize, and you ask a couple of calibrated questions, and you label and mirror the responses that you get, it would change almost overnight. That damage can, can start to be undone almost overnight. Mm -hmm. So it's never too late to learn, never too late to change. That's great. That's really good. I think you're right. And I think people want, you know, they get shut down and they're like, well, screw this. And then, you know, you can, if if someone recognizes they're wrong and they can change and it it can certainly, certainly be uh, reversed. That's, that's awesome. 